In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I consider is my worst painted model. But what I'm also going to share with you is why I never repainted this guy. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here from SpongeHammer.com. How are you all getting on today? Right, so we all have a few select models in our collection that we usually like to keep hidden away, out of sight so no one can see. These are usually models from when we first started the hobby, when we first started painting our first few models. It could be from a time when you tried something new, something different, but it didn't quite work out as well. Or in my case, it could be a model that turned out so bad that you learned a very important lesson from it. Let me introduce to you what I consider is my worst painted model in my entire collection. This is supposed to be a Space Marine Sergeant model that I've nicknamed Tinius Pantheus. And this isn't one of the first models I painted, but it's from around that time when I first started into the hobby. And straight away, you can clearly see what is wrong with this guy. He's bald. The poor guy started going bald after his 21st birthday. Oh wait, that was my 21st birthday. But seriously, this guy is absolutely destroyed with thick layers of paint that was recklessly slapped on by a younger Sponge Murphy. The paint is so thick you could probably start picking off chunks of it with your fingernails. And his head and his neck are so blobbed over, it almost like molds into his shoulders. It, this guy is completely destroyed. And it's hard to believe that there is an actual face behind all that thick paint all over his head. And there was some attempt to try and rescue this guy, as you can see with his power fist. It looks like there was a little bit of a shade in there. But by this point, it was just way too far. He was gone. He was done for. Now I know what you're thinking. But Sponge, just strip the paint off him. You've done it before, lots of times. And yeah, I could do that. But there are two things that I learned that are just way more important than simply repainting this guy. Those two things are patience and thinning your paints. When you start off painting, no one paints the perfect model on their first go. And if there was one piece of advice I would give to someone starting off right now, or even to myself back then, it would be to plan your paint scheme and to simply take your time. Have patience. Duncan Rhodes, who used to do the brilliant paint tutorials for Warhammer TV, would constantly say in all the videos, two thin coats. And he wasn't saying this just for the fun of it. Applying thin layers or thin coats onto your models to me is probably the most important thing you can do for your painting hobby. Yes, it does take a while and this is where you need your patience to come in, but the payoff for it will be the complete opposite of the monstrosity that I painted years ago. And the best way to see this starting to work is when it comes to painting like some armor parts or someone's robes. Everyone gets intimidated when they want to paint some robes or something like that because you want it to be a nice, smooth and bright colour on it. You don't want it to be all like thick and crusty and with paint. And for a lot of people, that's where the fear of painting a model can start to kick in. You'll start looking at other people's stuff and you'll think to yourself, I can't, I can't paint that good yet, fuck it, I'm not even going to try. And again, maybe some people might give up or they might try and improve after that. But the best thing to do with that is to simply don't compare your work to other people's work. Use them as an inspiration to try and get your fucking hobby juices going again, you know? Don't compare your stuff to them. Play the long game, be patient, tin your pants and just see how it works out for you. I guarantee you that it will work eventually. Unless you're one of those guys that can paint freakishly fast, because I know because I wish my speed could be picked up a little bit more. But when I take my time with a model, I've never stopped and looked at it and said, that looks like a rush job, it looks pretty bad. It's usually, God, that took a while, but it turned out better than I thought it was going to be. And that's why I've never repainted this guy. That's why I've never wanted to repaint this guy. He's a constant reminder to, to me to tin your pants, take your time, and if you start rushing things, this is what he's going to turn out like. He's going to look like this guy, absolutely destroyed. But if you're wanting to see how I got on with painting a Space Marine more recently, you can check on one of the videos here. But honestly, I really enjoyed talking about this. Um, I think it's something that I would like to do in the future. Like sit down, have a little discussion, and maybe help some people out there. But hopefully you like this. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know. Have you done a lot of rush jobs and have come out pretty bad, but then when you changed your style, you took your time, you applied a few more tin layers instead of 
blabbing it on. Did it turn out a lot better? Well, it should have turned out a lot better. Let me know in the comment section. You can let me know in my Facebook page, Spongehammer on Facebook, and send you pictures and all to that. You can check out my website, spongehammer.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.